what is up YouTube? It's your boy Gage coming with another sports blog. Today we're gonna talk about the lead the league leaders. Alright, let's get started. Alright. First, we're gonna do the offensive leaders. Alright, offensive leaders, which is points per game, would be Kevin Durant with the Oklahoma City Thunder, my favorite player. With 28 points a game. Last night I went to the Pacers Thunder game. He did not put up 28 points, but he still put up about 24, which lowered his points per game down to one less than what he had a few days ago. He had 29. Second is Dirk for the Dallas Mavericks with 26 a game. Third, Derrick Rose for the Bulls with 26.3 a game, too. So him and Dirk are tied. Derek will eventually pass him, though, I think. And then Kobe, fourth, which I don't like to see. I don't like Kobe. For 25.6 points per game. And then fifth, Carmelo Anthony for the Denver Nuggets for 25.2 points a game. Hopefully he can pass up Kobe. The defensive leaders this year in rebounds would be Kevin Love for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Don't even get me started. It kind of ticks me off because the only reason he puts up 14.5 rebounds a game is because he put up 30 and 20 that one game. Or in, a, in two games. That's the only reason. Joe Kim Noah, who I think should be leading because he does it every game with 13.6 rebounds. Third would be Reggie Evans for the Raptors. He is being a beast. Garbage man. With 12 rebounds a game. And then Dwight. Dwight Howard. With 12 rebounds a game. And then Paul Gasol for the Lakers with 11.9 and 5th. Okay. Let's go down to assists. You got Rajon Rondo for the Celtics with 14.2. That is leading the league by over 4 assists a game. Then you got CP3 in second with the Beast in Hornets this year with 10. Then you got Darren Williams who has just been owning it up with them Utah Jazz and one of the best point guards in the league with 9.9 assists a game. Then you got Steve Nash, the old MVP of the league with 9.5. Then you got Jason Kidd with 9.3, one of the all-time leading assists players of all time. Then we go back to the defense again. You got blocks. You got Darko Milicic for the Timberwolves with 2.9. That's three blocks a game, fellas. That's a lot. Timberwolves are starting to come up hot. They got the leading rebounder and blocker. Then you got JaVale McGee for the John Wall Wizards with 2.7 blocks a game. Then you got Andrew Bogut for the Bucks with 2.6. Josh Smith. Wait, he was about 6'8", six, 6'7", six, with 2.5 blocks a game for the Hawks. Then you got Dwight with 2.4. Then we got steals. You got CP3 with three steals a game. Then you got John Wall with 2.8. John Wall is a beast rookie. 2.8 steals a game. Then you got Rondo with 2.5 steals a game in third. Mike Conley with the Timberwolves with 2.3. And then Monta Ellis for the Golden State Warriors with 2.31. Okay. Now, what do we want to discuss? I don't know. We just talked about the league leaders and we're only four minutes in. We could talk field goal percentage. We got Marcus Saul. With the Timber or not the Timberwolves, the Grizzlies was 0.618 percent, shooting over 50 percent from the field because he doesn't shoot; he pretty much just dunks. Then you got Al Horford for the Hawks, 0.615. And then Beadrent for the Warriors with 604, but he hasn't even shot that much. It's like his first time this year putting up 10 points last night. Then you got Nene with 6 uh, 0.600. And then Dwight with .595. Okay? Let's talk about Kevin Durant in the Oklahoma City Thunder today, folks. All I got to say is, wow. They are unstoppable just like they was last year. If they didn't play the Lakers in the first round of the playoffs, they definitely would have made it. 
to at least the semis. They even beat the Celtics the other day when Durant was out with his ankle injury. It was a low-scoring game, but they beat him by like nine. Beat him by five, my bad. They beat him 89-84. They won three games in a row, then they went to Dallas. Lost 1-11 to 103. Then they went to Indiana, won last night in overtime, 110 to 106. Kevin Durant, like I said earlier, having 28 points a game, six foot nine, 230 pounds, born in Washington D.C., 22 years old, and he went to Texas. He's making six million this year. He is 22 years old, and he is leading the league in points per game, fellas. Now that is talent. Just wait till Kobe is gone. He is the taking over the league. He is better than LeBron. Taking over. He's averaging three assists, seven rebounds, 28 points a game at 22 years old. Now, that, if you don't know what skill is, this is skill right here. He's going to be one of the greatest players of all time. No questions asked. If you don't agree with me, put it in the comment section and we can have an argument. I don't care what you say. Kevin Durant is one of the best players in the league right now. Now, we got to talk about Brian or Russell Westbrook. Okay? He is on... Fire. Fire, guys. You don't even understand. Number zero. Averaging 23.8 points a game. Put up about 40 last night. Six foot three. 22 years old also. Out of UCLA. He played with Darren Collison at UCLA. And he put up 30 more points than he did last night. He's averaging two steals, eight assists, 23 points, fellas. That's gonna, he's gonna average about 26 at the end of the year. He's gonna be in the top five in scoring. He's been putting up 30 a lot. He is unstoppable. He is a beast. When he takes it to the hole, he is not gonna miss. Don't even ask. He is a beast. Okay? They play Houston Sunday. Okay? Now, this game. It's going to be good. Guaranteed. Guaranteed this game will be good. If they're playing Houston, if Yao Ming gets back, the game will definitely be good. But Oklahoma is 11-5. Houston is 4-11. The game is going to be good, and I'll tell you why. Durant has not been doing his best. Last game, he missed so many shots. He was about 5 for 20, I would say. Uh, the Rockets... They four and eleven, but they're still good. They they only lose their games by not that much at all. But I still think Oklahoma is going to win this one. And then after they play the Rockets, they got the Hornets. The uh, Thunder are seventh in the league with points per game with one hundred and two. Nineteenth in the league with forty one rebounds a game. Twenty ninth overall with assists per game. In points allowed, they're in twenty third with one hundred and three. They are allowing point one points a game more than they are scoring, and they're still eleven and five. Okay, they've won five in a row on the road. I think, I don't know. I'd have to look it up. But they are just beastly. Don't even get me started on the Thunder. They are my favorite team. I like them when they're with the Sonics. I also like the Pacers this year. They're my home team. Got to dig them. They got Hibbert. Hibbert is just a beast this year. You can't even say nothing. We're at nine minutes. I'm going to end it now. Rate, comment, subscribe, please. All right. uh, I'm going to come out with a video. I'm going to try and make a video once a week. Uh, keep you guys informed. It's almost Christmas. I'm getting a PlayStation and getting some uh, getting Call of Duty, Madden, and uh, uh, Call of Duty. So uh, be looking out for some, some of them games whenever... Uh, Christmas comes around, and uh, I'll make some iPlayer, I'll make some Superstar mode from Madden, do some Call of Duty, so, and if you uh, want to know, just comment, just tell me what you want, well, this is Gage with the second sports blog, and I'm out.